Hello, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I'm going to be hitting up No Man's Sky, I'm going to be jumping in and hitting on up the expedition. So if this, if this is the first expedition you've ever sort of joined in on, you do have to click in a certain place. Let me show you where you need to be clicking and what you need to be doing. I say clicking, i got a joypad, I don't know why I'm saying clicking, that goes. But anyway, you go to Play Game, then you hit new game you have to run a new game save for an expedition then over on the right hand side here we have the expedition you want to be hitting this one up there's two months remaining this one could be a long one and it's all about discoveries voyager lots of scanning to be done people so let's hit on that let's jump on in and i'll see you in initialization phase All right, chums, well, I'm at the Initialize Expedition screen, and all I've got to do is hold down the square button. Boom! And we're going to be loading in. Am I going to be a Viking this time? Pretty much every time I do an expedition, I end up being this Viking in purple. I look like a giant grape, mate. Don't know why. Other people get really fantastic characters. Let's see what I get. Oh, that's a cool planet name. Ashida Gurk. Is that my... Is that my freighter's name or a planet name? It's weird. It's got toxicity underneath it. Normally, you're spawning on a planet. This time, we're spawning in on a freighter. We did this in the Endurance Expedition. This is interesting. Already very interesting. I've also heard this takes part in Eisentam. I was watching Stasi's Star... Rice's Starship Emporium yesterday. That's a bit of a mouthful first thing in the morning when I haven't had a cup of tea. I need to make a cup of tea, people. There we go. Expedition Voyagers. Oh, and I've got... It's not a Viking. I've got an alien. I've got an alien. Brilliant. Eh? Okay. Well, I'm going to go and have a look at the patches and everything that we need to unlock on this one. And I'll be right back with you with my initial observations on what we need to be doing. But here we go. The Voyager of DS Double Land has begun. The Expedition tab will show your progress as you explore. blah de blah And there's not much to give us things there not really anyway people yeah you can complete this in any order which yeah we get on to i'll have a look at the patches and i'll re be right back to give you a few hints and tips before you start your expedition people i'm back i'm back again yes i've gone through all of these tabs we have to scan creatures we have to scan plants so we might as well scan some rocks while we're freaking at it we have to land on a very high mountain we have to visit quite a few different planets of different biome types so you know what i might just go to pretty much every planet inside of a system well yeah anyhow let's see what's on our freighter let's see if there's anything that we can take advantage of before we actually set off yes there is so here we go we can grab ourselves a load of carbon from these carbon racks and off the wall here as well. You can see these little blue switches, that's what you're aiming for. Go over there, there's some more, let's grab some more carbon from there. Lovely, lovely carbon. There is also putting down a base as, as a mission sort of thing that you have to do at some point. So I'm just going to grab all this lovely carbon, because why not? It's freaking free, mate. Now, you could delete these rooms if you really wanted to, and get yourself a load of other sort of resources by doing that. But I don't really see the point at the moment in doing that. I mean, it might give you some might give you some resources you might need, but no, I think that's overkill. Let's grab all of those. Lovely, and that's pretty much everything. Okay, right, I'm ready to go. So, I'm going to be choosing a planet to go to, and because of badges, I'm going to be choosing a Frost World if there is one in this system. Are you Frost? No, you're Star Bramble. You're Copper. You're Star Bob. Okay, Flourishing Planet. There's lots of Flourishing Planets here. If we can find one that's over 90% Paradise, then that's pretty awesome. Overgrown, overgrown, flourishing planet. You know what? I'm probably going to visit all of these. Go visit all of these. Go. So, chums, I'm going to fly to this flourishing planet. Now, there's also another mission to adopt two creatures. So, I might adopt some creatures if I see some on here um, that I quite like. To be honest, it doesn't matter whether I like them or not. It's just a badge that I need to pop to complete the expedition. So, I'm heading towards the flourishing planet right now. Rob Briddle. Well, apparently the actual planet is Rob Briddle. 
Well, yeah, so I'm heading there. You can probably see the name if I move it up there. There you go, there's the name. You can see it there. That's the one I'm heading to. And I'm heading towards the light side of the planet. So I'm going to fly past it and loop round onto the back end of it because you can see where the sun is. You can see where the planet is. And look, there's daytime on this side. The reason I'm flying to the day side of the actual planet is there's a better chance that creatures may spawn. Now really I should have chose a planet that has water as well because we have to scan a couple of underwater creatures and there's also a mission to dive to a certain limit. There's also a badge to get to the top of a mountain so as I'm flying in I'm going to see if I can see any mountain peaks that I can land on but then again I've spotted a landing pad here which is quite important in early play because yeah if you take on off from um, Oh look, there are some mountains over there, I could have landed on one of those, but I don't think they're high enough anyway to pop the badge that we need. I can't see any giant mountains on this planet, so we'll forget that badge for now. But yeah, landing pads are important because then you don't have to use um, launch thruster fuel to take back off again. But there you go, we've already popped our first badge for landing on our first planet. There is also another badge to get for um, getting vortex cubes. So I can see that there's a bit of a cave over here and you usually find vortex cubes inside of caves. So we'll see if this has got a vortex cube in here. Oh, it's a fake cave. Damn it. Oh, I've got a tray manipulator already installed. That's handy dandy, isn't it? Um, why is it not digging though? Well, that's fun, isn't it? All right, well, that's broken. Let's uh, collect that reward then. Lovely jubbly, I'll have that. Creature pellets. Brilliant, so we can use those to tame some creatures. Nice, okay, we've got to get some chromatic metal and microprocessors. Now, lucky enough, where I've landed, there's a galactic trade terminal in there. I could buy the microprocessors if I get a bit of monies. Righto, well, let's try digging here then. Why is it not bloody digging? This is strange. Oh, it's because it's on bloody restore mode. I don't know why it was on restore mode as a default. That's a first. All right, come on then, bloody dig. Mine. Okay, here we go. So there's another one to dig a certain amount of meters underground, but I don't know whether it's directly down or what. But anyway, I'm going to look for some vortex cubes. And the way that I'm going to do that and see if it's got vortex cubes on this planet, is I'm just going to dig a little trench so it registers that I'm underneath the ground. Now I'm going to look around and see if I can find anything. Humming sacks. So this one, this planet has got humming sacks rather than vortex cubes. So I know I'm not going to be able to get my vortex cubes on this planet. But let's just see if that's working towards the badge for digging underneath the ground. So where is it? Um, da -da -dum -da, da -da -da. Excavate engine did I get that. Da -da -da. I'll have a look for it and I come back to you people. OK, I found it. It was on phase three and it's this one here. Fear of the sun. So let's carry on digging. Let's see if that changes. Yes, look, it's changing right now. So you know what? I'm just going to carry on digging regardless. You know, why the fudge not? Might as well, mightn't I? And let's just keep digging until that hits that actual quanta or quota. Right, see you in a moment. OK, chums, I actually found that it goes up quicker. If you enlarge your beam, so just press R1 to make your beam as big as it can be. And there you go, chicka pow, look at that. I'm freaking doing swathes of it now. That's far better than it was. Okay, well, I've hit a cave. There's a load of these over here, humming sacks. Now, they're going to be able to sell for quite a fair bit. So I might be able to sell these and buy myself a load of those. Well, buy myself the actual the microprocessors that I need. So I'm going to get these anyway, because why the fudge not? It's free money just sitting right here. They're worth a fair bit, like I say. So Al Albion Pearls, there you go. Look at that. 63 freaking grand, mate, opposed to whatever else I've got here. Oh, look at that. I've got a mining beam that I can just install a cake. That's freaking awesome. That's going in. Heck yes. There you go. Two tips in one. OK, people, well, I'm pretty close to hitting that 2,400. There we go. And done. Dundley and done. The fear of the sun. Heck yes. Rhyming genius. Captain of the stage. Oh, fudge and heck. That, that didn't go too swimmingly well, did it? I just slapped my little alien face on a freaking rock. Ah, some biscuits. Gonna have to wait for my um, jetpack to recharge now. We will get out of this hole, people. I guess we will. Well, uh, probably not on this episode, though. <laughs> yes, I'm out. Brilliant. And I'm probably miles away from my ship now, and that freaking landing pad that I landed on quite conveniently. Well, as we're heading back, people, we're gonna scan stuff. Oh, I'm not. I'm right next to it. All right, well, hello there, you. Would you like to be a pet of mine? I'm sure you would. Okay, yep, I'm going to have you as a pet, my friend. There you go. 
Chicka boom! I've got one pet. I need one other pet. Let's have a look. Are there any other pets in petable distance? There's one just over here, people. I'm going to end up falling back into that hole that I just blinking dug, though, aren't I? If I'm not careful. Okay, these are probably the two worst pets ever. Okay, there you go. Let's, let's scan him as well, anyway. Lovely. Because there is a badge for scanning a certain amount of fauna. There you are. I've now petted two creatures. I have two pets. Oh, no. I didn't actually say I want him as a pet. So, adopter's companion. There you go. There's one. Where'd that cat go? There he is. He's coming my way. Uh, um, he's just here, apparently. Oh, there he is. He's freaking hard to see. There you go. Let's have him as a companion as well. There you go. That's two pets adopticated. That should pop me another badge. Lovely jobs. Let's head on over. Over to here. And with... Oh, there's a pigeon. We're going to scan a pigeon. Scan the pigeon. Scan the pigeon. Scan the pigeon. Yeah. Yeah, there used to be a show called Catch the Pigeon over here in the UK, people. Yes, I'm sure you quite like my dulcet tones and my singing voice. Right, let's head on over. Oh, God, that's all screwed up, isn't it? Look, you can see through the blinking walls. All right, well, let's jump on over here. Ah, we can also get a badge for talking to a certain amount of gecks and learning gek words. I don't know whether he's going to teach me a word. Oi, you! Ah, come here. I'm trying to talk to thee. And go. Oh, yeah, he is pretty busy, apparently. Let's see if I can learn a word. Ah, uh, okay, I, I give him, I give him some units. They are, they are, mate. Now can I learn a word from you? Let me, let, let me, let me. Oh, fudge neck. No, I can't learn a word. All right, we'd have to do that at the station then, people. There's a multi tool in the cabinet here. I don't, I don't think I overly need it though, peeps. Don't overly need that. All right, well, let's head on around here. Uh, where's my galactic trade terminal? There it is. Let's sell some bits here. Let's see if we can buy those microchips by selling the Albion Pearls. Chikapow! Soldicated. Right, eh? Well, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's buy a micro mi mi microprocessor. Buy microprocessor. Chikaboom! I can buy one. How many do I blinking need? All right, let's go and have a look at my broken poorly ship. Oh, well, it's not a broken poorly ship at all, is it? I can't remember what I needed the blinking microprocessors for, but I bought one anyway. Okay, cool, yo. And we've got this as well. I think it was, was it for the warp drive or something? Because I haven't got a warp drive. Aha, yes. We need to buy, okay, I need five of them. So that's quite a lot of units. I'm probably not going to be able to buy five, but we can try. Uh, I might be able to, I think I can buy just one more anyway. So I can buy one. And there you go, I'm, I'm, I'm run out of them now. But to craft microprocessors, it's not a massive ask. You need chromatic metal and you also need carbon nanotubes. So you know I just dug up half the planet digging tunnels. I could have used that to just dig up chromatic metal. So to get chromatic metal, I'm going to need copper. I'm going to need copper, so I'm going to go find some copper deposits now, people. Oh, I'd have that. Free nanites. Why the fudge not, mate? Why I'm here? Why not? OK, coolio. Well, to find myself copper, I'm looking for these. Paraffinium deposit copper deposit that's the one i want 700 u's are you any closer mate oh it's paraffinium again how about that one salt mm. copper 500 u's that'd do we'll go to that one people i'll see you when i get there heck yes i will people and we'll be digging up some copper Okay, people, well, you can see below me that I have got that other badge for getting those two adopted creatures and also under the sun. So I'm just going to pop these. Oh, my days. I've just been given the whole portal glyph set for dig doing all that digging. That's going to come so in handy. Salvage data as well. Freaking awesome. So, yeah, I can use that when I get on up to the actual Nexus and claim some base parts, I guess. Okay, um, brilliant. What's this little cat creature doing running around here? I'm going to scan him. Scandally scan. So I'd say scan every sort of creature and any sort of weird plant. You see, well, not, not every weird plant, but you got, there is a badge for scanning creatures and scanning plants. So be sure to scan everything as you're going, people, as you go in there. I'm going to scan some more florery type stuff. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And uh, yeah, I'm heading towards my copper deposit, keeping my eye out for any sort of creatures. I know I'm scanning a rock, but solid, might as well. Yeah. Boom. Uh, there's another hazardous plant over there. I don't know what kind that is. Okay, I've already still got that one. Okay, cool. Well, I'll see you at the copper deposit. And yes, I'm walking, not taking my ship. Mainly because I want to leave my ship at that landing pad where there's a galactic trade terminal so I can sell stuff. On well, another thing, people, hazardous flora often gives you oxygen. If you can get close enough, you can actually pluck oxygen off of them. But I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to try that anymore because I might die. I'm going to just zap it with my mining beam. Take that, you, and you can see that I'm going to get oxygen. Oxygen's quite 
it's it's rare, it's a rare plant to come across as you're going across the planet i mean you can find it just in the wild by doing a little scan it's going to appear as like a, a red op there you go there's some oxygen over there but it's miles away and there's some more over there but yeah they're still miles away yeah so i'm just going to go to this copper deposit anyway like i've been saying for a little while now people but i'm just giving you a few tips as we're heading there there's some condensed carbon there there's some sodium here so it helps if you know your markers but yes yeah, so I'm, I'm sort of catering for new players with this sort of expedition people i know there's a lot of oh god we've gone and upset some sentinels now all right fine we won't be zapping that for a while cool well let's head on over to the copper deposit it's weird sentinels don't mind you digging out massive craters in the ground or doing massive tunnels but you shoot an animal or you shoot some crystals when they're in close proximity they're going to go mental now with this one if you shrink the beam you're going to get a lot more copper out of the ground as you go so there we go if you make it larger, you're going to get it quicker, but you're going to get less. So it's up to you. If you want to visit a fair few copper deposits and just zap it all really quickly so you're not standing here like a lemon for freaking ages, completely your preference. You know what? I'm going to make it bigger, and I'm just going to go to a few copper deposits. I'm just going to grab it quickly, people, because I haven't got the patience to dig, 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 and dig. Just, even if you do get a little bit more. I mean, you're talking... You're talking hundreds not really thousands anyway so it, at a copper deposit i'm still gonna get a freaking shed ton out of this by doing it big but yeah do it small you're probably gonna get you know a couple of hundred more well i say a couple of hundred it's probably gonna be close to like 800 more per deposit which is which is quite a lot when it's in the grand scheme of things so there you go there's a little bit that i missed there boom Okay, right, well, let's go into the actual inventory and let's just see how much copper I got there. See, I got about 367. If I would have left it small, I think I would have got about 1,100 or something like that, or close to, you know? Okay, cool, yeah. So I got that. I can start changing that if I've got my personal refiner, uh, which I don't believe I have got a refiner in here. I haven't got a refiner there. So does that mean I've got to create a personal... I've got to create a portable refiner people so i need some metal plating and i need some oxygen okay fine so you've already told, told you how to find oxygen which is a bit of a, a pain in the backside because the nearest oxygen plant was like 170 years away or something i mean you can just take out hazardous flora like i showed you earlier though people but yeah it looks like i'm gonna double back on myself get myself some oxygen and also to get the actual metal platings i'm gonna need some ferrite dust which means i need to zap some rocks there's a rock there that i'm zapping right now i'm getting some ferrite dust from there Chick boom so i need to get more of that and i need to go and get my oh i think that sentinel's gone now so i might be able to get some of this condensed carbon lovely there you go let's head on over this way have i already scanned these creatures yes i have and it's turned to night time now so fun times Got here. oh i can collect collect that other reward can't i for um getting all those creatures new reward over here there we are i've got two new pets oh cool we've got some new infantry slots don't mind if i do thank you very much sweet that's going to come in handy and let's just head on over and uh, hopefully i can see those oh look there's a hazardous plant right there that i can zap that should get me some oxygen oxygen i can't see if i'm getting oxygen because there's a poxy badge on the screen i didn't get oxygen out of the way okay right there is a hazardous flora somewhere here i'm probably going to just have to get bitten by it or whipped in the face by it to blink and spot it there it is right there i see you you get back what a lovely lush planet this is bang you're dead and i've got myself some oxygen okay right I need some more oxygen. Where's the oxygen plants that we saw earlier? There's one right there. Let's, uh, let's oh, fudge it, just bit. Okay, we're going to head on over there and pick up the oxygen. Hopefully there's more than just one oxygen plant there. And I think there's some dehydrogen nearby as well, which I could always get that. And if you're wondering what dehydrogen is, it's like these blue crystals. You will see a lot of it, but this planet that I'm on right now, as you can see, it's covered in blue grass. So it's quite difficult to spot the dehydrogen amongst the blue grass. But there it all is there there's the blue crystal so i'm getting it now so i'm going to need that anyway if i do need to craft any launch thruster fuel or anything like that so i'm just going to grab some dehydrogen while i'm here but i i, I haven't been asked to get it you know 
Okay, I guess what I could do is lock in another copper deposit, and as I'm heading towards the copper deposit, hopefully get some more oxygen. So you've seen what the oxygen plants look like now, and you've seen that I'm going to be zapping the hazardous flora. That's all I'm going to be doing. Also, there is a thing to learn words, so I'm just going to hit up any knowledge stones on the way here, because there you go, I'm going to learn some words at the, uh, the old Gek, and I think you've got to learn like about four words or something like that to actually pop a badge of each of the different races, so why not I do that? I'll see you at the next copper deposit. Okay, chums, well, I'm getting quite close to my copper deposit, and I can see that there's some more oxygen planty type things to zap over there, so I'm going to zap that, zap that, and you can see my life support is getting very low right now, people. Now, there is this weird plant near me, right here. Now, sometimes they can actually give you your energy back. Sometimes they do other stuff. You consume them. You eat them. So here we go. Let's eat them. Let's see what this does to me. Hopefully it's going to up my life support systems. Yes, so there you go. My life support has gone up a little. There's my copper deposit. So there we go, peeps. I'm just going to head on over and dig up this copper deposit. Then I'm going to hit that knowledge stone and dig up the other copper deposit right there. Brilliant, eh? Okay, chums. Well, I think I've got enough resources now to make my little sort of refiner so there you go i've got some iron well ferrite dust and i've got myself a load of copper and yeah let, let, let's see if and we've got we've got quite a fair bit of oxygen so let's try and make one of those things so i need to get some metal plating so let's make a metal plating first so let's go into here metal plating chikapow. and then i'm going to be putting down one of these sweet coolio Right, well, let's head on over and let's start making some chromatic metal using the copper that I got there. Let's stick that into there and let's get that on the bike. That's going to take me three minutes. Now, while I'm doing that, I might as well look around, see if there's anything else I could be doing. So there's some oxygen right there, 61 U's away. Yeah, I could probably get to that and get back again. Okay, coolio. It's not too far, is it? It's just over this hill. Dump, 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 dump. Oh, there they go. Oxygen. Chikapow. There's some more oxygen over there. That's quite a distance. Yeah, I don't want to go too far away from my, my lovely little refiner. Let's head on back over. But yeah, there's a few bits and bobs you could do. I could scan some more rocks and trees and bushes, I suppose. Can I? Let's see if there's anything else I can scan. Yeah, there's a plant I can scan. So I'll get on with doing this. I'll be right back with you when my uh, chromatic metal is ready, people. Coolio. Okay, germs. Well, I've been zapping some plants and getting myself some extra carbon while you guys have been gone. So you go, let's get some carbon. Boom. Let's get that out there. That's my chromatic metal. Lovely, lovely. And I'm going to head on back to my ship in a second. So yeah, we can craft some carbon nanotubes now. So if I just do six of them, and if I go over here, hopefully I can make three of these. Chikapow. There we are. And I've still got three carbon nanotubes left. Might as well keep those. Hatch that out. Okay, what's this? Phase beam module. Heck yes. I need to put that into my ship once I get there. Let's get back to the old ship and let's get the hyperdrive installed, people. Awesome. So we'll be able to jump systems then. To what end? I guess because I want to go and visit all the planets in this system before we leave this system. Mainly so I can scan as many creatures as possible. I'm going to zap that freaking oxygen plant. I guess I am. I call it an oxygen plant. It's hazardous flora. But they're not hazardous unless you go too close to them. Anyway, I'll see you back on my ship, people. Okay, something to mention, peeps. As you're near to these outposts, you can hit up this beacon, which is going to act as a save, which is pretty darn nice. Plus, it also gives you navigational data. You're going to see it pop up above my head there in a second, which comes in handy for finding sort of like um, chart maps at stations. You can trade that in for chart maps. So yes, if you do come across one of these outposts, if you are lucky like me, and you did find something with a landing pad to land at, hit up the save point. Heck yes, I'm just going to head on in and see if there's anything I can sell here. Get a little bit of extra do re mi fa so la before I leave. So salvage data, I could sell a load of that, but I'm going to keep it for base parts and things. Who knows? Uh, sodium, I'm going to keep that. There's not much I need to sell, to be honest. Okay, and um, we're all good. Uh, the nip nip buds I could sell, and that's contraband. You don't want to keep that on your person for too long. Okay, so there we go, I'll sell that. Okay, and I think I'm good with the rest. Yeah, heck yes. Awesome. Right oh, so let's uh, get the hyperdrive installed in my shippity ship. Pow 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 pow. Lovely, lovely. Awesome, awesome. 
Ah, we need to actually fuel the dang thing though. And to do that, I'm going to need quite a few components. So let's see if we can craft it inside of here, shall we, people? Oh, we've got some launch thruster fuel there already. So to make the antimatter, I'm going to need some condensed carbon, which isn't too much of a problem. I should be able to put my refiner down here. Check out. Although I picked up some condensed carbon, it's obviously not enough. I zapped a load of plants for carbon. So let's put a little bit of carbon in there to get this thing charged. Then the rest of my carbon, there we go, got a load there, 900 odd, I can turn into condensed carbon. We get that on the bake. That's going to take a minute or so, people, so I'll leave that going. And while I'm here, if I was to buy anything, the sort of things that I would be buying is probably Starship launch fuel. But not only that, I want to be buying... Hmm, that's odd. It's got no sort of health packs in here. There is this, though. An exosuit upgrade, which is pretty nice. Okay, well, that's that's a bit different. I was hoping to find some sort of, like, life gel packs in there. I mean, I can craft life gel packs, but I don't think... I'll, oh, I can craft them. Dehydrogen jelly and carbon. So I might as well get a couple of those done, then. I can get one. I mean, my life support is quite low at the moment. Let's stick that over on that stack there. And I can install this inside of my ship, which is a phase beam module. So I might as well stick that there. There's no adjacency bonus to be had on any of those items right now, people. Not the best of ships. We might look to try and swap that ship out at some point, peeps. So anyways, there you go. Look, it looks like my, my portable refiner is done baking. So let's grab that. Nice. And pick that up. Yes. Always take your portable tech with you. That's why it's portable. Right, well, I think I've done everything that I want to do on this planet. I mean, you can go to your Discoveries page and see how many creatures you found. We found four or five. There's only one other creature to be found on this planet. Hopefully it's not one that I need to actually pop something. There is um, a, a large herbivore you've got to find during all these badges. Hopefully that's not the blinking one. But I'm going to go visit all the other planets and hopefully get a few more badges popped. But we shall see, people. So, what planet shall I fly to next? I'm thinking one with water. So I might go to this one, or the ringed one. We could go to the ringed one, to be honest. It's an infested planet. We could check out the water on there. Yeah, I'll go to the ringed one this time. Let's go to the ringed planet. I'll see you at the ringed planet, people. Right, well, while in space, I'm up by all these asteroids. And I'm just shooting the asteroids. Now, you have to shoot 40 of them to pop another badge. So I might as well do this one while I'm seeing some asteroids. If you didn't see some asteroids on your trip to your next planet, then, you know, just do this one when you get a chance, anyhow. Let's just keep going until I've shot 40 of these. It shouldn't take me too long. I mean, yeah, my weapons keep overheating, but I could swap to the other weapon, to be fair, couldn't I? Because I just installed phase beams, and we've got rockets as well, so let's use the rockets. Boom! Pound! Oh, I guess I haven't got the phase beams actually installed -cated. Not properly right now, have I? Okay. Uh, that's a bit weird. It's given me the actual the, the booster module, but not the actual technology module. So I guess it's some technology I can craft and put in, I guess. What the fudge is that just floating amongst all of this? Oh, it's a, it's a shadow, Steve. I thought that was a ship. It's not. It's a shadow. You see it on those two rocks there. Okay, fine. Take out all this. Should hit the 40 fairly quickly, but it's hard to actually keep count. All right, zap all of these. Well, I'm getting a load of resources anyway, so it, it all adds up in the end, doesn't it? Some of this you need for building out freighter rooms. That tritium hypercluster that I just got there, you can break that down. So if I break that down, that's going to give me a load of pulse fuel for my ship. There you go. Tritium. We need that for fuel in your ship. Zap all of these guys. There we go. Stardust. We just got 40, uh, yeah, 40 asteroids done. We pop the badge Stardust. So let's go into the old expedition and let's claim the, that badge. So there we go. It's in phase five. Stardust. What are we going to get? Emergency signal scanner, supreme pulse engine modules two. Brilliant, we could do with those. Let's get those installed. Let's get those into my ship right now. Okay, so let's stick that there. And we'll stick that one right next to it, get the adjacency bonuses. There we go. Now I'll be able to pulse a bit fast, further and faster. I'm not going to be using that for a while. Heck no, I'm not. Okay, well, let's see if we can craft the antimatter now. Anyway, we can. Antimatter crafted. Now you need to put it in some antimatter housing, which I can get by doing that lovely jubbly and then i can create my warp fuel there we go so we can jump to another system but i'm not going to i'm not going to i'm going to go visit the planets like i was saying before i want to visit the ringed planet next that's the one i was going to go visit 
And there it is over there. So I'm going to head towards that ring planet. I'll see you when I get there, people. And I'm, we're going to be diving into the oceans on this planet and scanning as many creatures as we can. We're also going to see if it's got a high mountain. Okay, Jums, this appears not to have many high mountainous peaks at all. So it's quite a flat planet. It's an infested planet at that. And yes, it has got oceans. Um, not massively large oceans. I mean, I'm over this side now, which looks a little bit better. I'm just going to set it down around here because to pop one badge, you've got to dive quite deep. And at the moment, this isn't looking like it's got the deepest of ocean. But we can but hope. Let's jump on in and we'll find out. Uh, but we still need to scan a certain amount of underwater creatures. So let's go get that done. OK, it, actually, this is fairly deep. As far as oceans go, this is quite a good... Let's uh, dive on into here. Oh, look, we just got deepest ocean recorded. Brilliant. So that's cool. Right, well, let's start scanning some underwater critters anyway. Scanned. OK. Uh, we've got another one over here. He's a fast one. Where's he going? Look at him. He's freaking miles away, though, apparently. Right. Let's see if we can get him. Nope, still can't get him. Oh, think I'm got oh no, I've got something else right now. We've got a we got a rock or something. Alright, well let's swim. When you're underwater, you have to think about your oxygen. These sort of white glowing plants, they're gonna give you oxygen. So just pick those up. Lovely. Here we go. Oh, life support is really low right now, so I'm gonna use one of my gel canisters. Let's have a look. See. I wanna keep the oxygen just in case we need the oxygen. Oxygen is you don't get oxygen in abundance. Then again, that said, you can get oxygen. Where is this blinking fish? It's like he's stuck under the ground or something. Unless that's him there. Let's just scan that red dot. There you go. OK, fun times. All right, so we've got all these clams down here as well. Now, there are sort of like little pearls to be found inside of here as well. I can't remember how much they sell for. Let's have a look if it was worth getting that living pearl. Where's there? It is. There it is. Four thousand. Not bad. Not bad for units, I suppose. Right. Let's have a look around. Then, is there any other underwater creatures for me to be scanicating? Don't believe there is. Okay. Let's, let's get this one as well. Get some more oxygen. Lovely. We've got over there crystallized sulfide i don't think we need any crystallized sulfide submerged relic let's go and have a look at that let's see if this counts as being a vortex cube i don't think it does but just in case it does we'll go and have a quick look see let's see if this counts as a vortex cube bum, bum, bum. we might have to go in another cave to see if we can get vortex cubes and get some more oxygen while i'm swimming there submerged relic okay cool let's grab it Nope, it's a Hadal core, of course it is. Ah, uh, I get a little bit forgetful. It's very rare that I dive into the ocean's peeps. Right, so I can't see any other underwater creatures inside of this planet that I haven't scanned. But at least we popped the badge. Well, we popped a milestone or a discovery, as I should say, for deepest underwater area. Let me have a look and see if I'm actually clocking up on another phase at the moment, people. Won't be a second. Okay, so this is the one I was thinking of. Reach. ATUs below sea level. Well, if you haven't got a deep ocean, get your terrain manipulator out and start digging under the freaking ground, mate. There we go. Let's just swim all the way under here. Now, just make sure your oxygen levels are tippity top. I mean, mine were not quite tippity top. Oh, look at that. I've only just done it. I reached the bedrock there. That was lucky. Explored beneath the waves. We popped another badge by digging <laughs> rather than actually finding a deep ocean. So there you go. There's a lovely little tip for you. Let's go pop that badge then. Let's see what we get. Terrifying samples. They sell for a lot. Powerful underwater oxygen upgrade. Don't need it now, mate. Marine shelter plans. Okay, fine. There we are. Let's head on back to where my ship is. Where is my ship? Now, there's quite a lot of comms balls that are appearing. I know that one of these comms balls on this ringed planet, Raishi's Starship Emporium placed it there. And he placed it there next to a crashed ship. So if you do head there, you could end up claiming yourself a lovely crashed ship. Oh fudge, I'm about to run out of oxygen. And I can't... Oh, there's an oxygen plant. Let's go grab that quickly. Sweet. Thank you very much. I'll have you. Boom. Right, let's get out of here. And where's my ship? It's over there. All right, I'll see you back at my ship, people. 
Right, well, before I leave this planet, I'm going to start scanning some creatures. Sadly, you can't scan that giant worm. That would have been a nice little find, wouldn't it? I was trying to lock onto a fish there. Look, you can't scan him. Uh, fun times. Right, well, let's have a look around. There's another little birdie my bird bird. Scan that. And we've got some more creatures over here. We've got a freaking abundance of creatures there. I'm scanning the plant, though, not the creature. Great. Okay. Right, well, let's get a bit closer to them then. Okay, scan you. Chicka pow. And you. Oh, is that a predatory creature? Don't know. Don't know where it is. That's, it would have popped if it was. Okay. There is there is a badge for scanning a predatory creature, I believe. At least I think it's scanning, not killing. It might be killing. I don't know. And chicka pow. Okay, I'll scan these guys as well. Getting loads of creatures now. Oh, look at that guy. Sweet. Okay, awesome. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. There's some birds over there. Let's get that scanned. And sh surely that's enough now. There we go. Naturalist. 14 discovered creature species. Where's that one? That's in phase one, is it? Okay, brilliant. Well, we've got that one too. Powerful scanning system upgrade. Brilliant. You need that. There is actually a reward, a badge to pop. If you manage to... I'm going to go kill this creature because this one looks like it's a predator. I'm just going to just zap it anyway. Let's have a look what that does. Take that creature. And die. Wait. Stop it. Stop running away. It's gone through all the undergrowth. He doesn't want to die today, but he, he sadly he is a oh, wrong creature. Where'd he go? Well, this is a hard, hard planet for killing creatures. I don't know whether I did or didn't get him. Hmm. If he was a predatory creature, I think he would have attacked me um, rather than run away. So perhaps it doesn't count as a predatory creature, that one. All right, well, where's my blinking ship? That's, um, I think we've scanned enough creatures. We've done enough on here. In fact, I'm going to hit up another knowledge stone before we go. Um, I know I'm learning words from knowledge stones, but we're going to learn a lot when we go to the station. And I do want to go to the actual station anyway. Suddenly over here. Let's zap all of these rocks. Mm, condensed carbon. Condensed carbon's always good to get. Let's get a load of that. Sorry if you can hear Ivy. I don't know what she's uh, doing at the moment. I'll go see her in a second. I need to go make a cup of tea anyway. And uh, yeah, I just let her know that I'm doing some recording and to keep the old lungs to herself. Let's head over here and uh, jump in my ship and out of my ship. Boom! And there we go, people. I'll be right back with you. In fact, I'm going to sit in my ship while I go make a cup of tea. All right, see you in a bit. Oh, chums, I am back and I got myself a cup of tea and I'm stuck on my hat because my hair was a mess. Yummy. Okay, guys. Right here, people. Plus, also, people have said that they really like my hats. So, there we go. I'm just going to do a couple of bits there. Righto. Uh, right. So, we picked up something for the multi tool, didn't we? I think. A scanner utility. I don't really want those. I'm going to get rid of them, I think. There you go. There's the scanner. Let's go and stick that in next to the other scanner so it gets the adjacent. So, banners. Brilliant, eh? Hopefully, that's going to. Up my oh, I was hoping it would give me a little bit better on the old scanner potential. It probably has. But not by much. Toxic protection. Okay, we'll slap that in there for now. Boom. There we go. That'd do. I mean, I, I could put that there, to be honest, and that there. And that might help a bit. And I could put that there. Adjacency burners. I guess. I could also put that there. And I could put that there. There we go. Lots of adjacency bonuses. Now I just missed out on that one. Hold on, let's stick that there. Let's put that there. There you go. Boom. That's probably helped somewhat. Okay, well, let's take on off. You know what I might do now, though? I might fly to the station. I might fly to the space station and go and talk to some of the actual chappies inside the space station and see if we can pop the badge for at least the geck. So here we go. Let's head on over to the space station. There it is over there. And we're going that way, people. Heck yes. Now, I could have gone to the comms ball that Ricey put down and picked up that crash ship, but there's a lot of comms balls on that planet now, people. Well, chums, here I am up inside of the space station. There's not just Gak here, there's all sorts of other races, so I might as well chat to each. Now, when you go in and you chat to them to learn a word, you can go to a request dialect help. There we go. Chicka boom. 
And yeah, you just choose a symbol. It's going to teach you a word. So I'm going to do that for each and every person in here. Now, as you're going around, after you've spoken to them, if you hover over it, it will show you whether you've already visited them. So you don't accidentally click on the same one twice. It does happen every now and again because you do see duplicates up here of the same entity. So there we go. I'm going to learn a, um, a Viking word now. There you go, Viking. So here's a Viking. The other guy there, that's a Corvax, and this here is a Gek. They're the three main races. There's a new racing game now, but I don't know whether we're going to get to see them during this expedition, but we will see. Anyway, salute them on now. I'm going to go talk to all of these guys. Oh, you can see there, there is also, a, um, when you go here, a secondary option to practice language skills. So you can hit this up, and sometimes you can get given a gift, or... You can get given another word. Let's try this. Let's see how it goes. Mm, there we are. No. Oh, I lost standing. Yeah, probably not the best thing to do then. Right. When there's two standing next to each other, it's a right pain talking to the right one. Anyway, I'll be right back after I'm talking to a load of these and we'll see if we get uh, any new word. Well, we can see if we can pop the bad. Well, there you go, people. I only need to talk to one more. You only need to learn six words. OK, well, there you go. Well, I'm up here now, so I might as well talk to a few more and learn a few more words. Yeah, so uh, I, I need to learn the Viking language. I need six of those. I've already spoken to one other, so that's my second Viking. I need to learn four more. If we do jump to a Viking system, that's going to make that a heck of a lot easier. Uh, there's a Corvax here. I've already spoken to one, so we've got two on the Corvax as well. So we're getting there. We're making progress. So make sure that you hit on up all of these. I might as well talk to the rest of the gag, I guess learn some more words actually there's no real freaking point is there and i'm probably not going to trade in my ship um, we have got some storage slots i think for my multi-tool i check the outfitting tool as well while i'm here so let's uh, head on over here and i'll show you what i mean anyway people because we've got a couple of expansion slots for the multi-tool oh you see these cubes if you see these cubes laying around you might as well interact with them you might get nanites or you might get navigational data if you're super lucky over and in this back room over this side you might find some more people that you can talk to so i might just talk to the viking see if i can learn a word from the viking there we go are you going to be teaching me a word no nope. he's just offering to come and work at my base which i haven't got a base right now however that's another badge that we need to actually do so the next planet i visit i might put down a base if the planet's quite nice there's a multi-tool there let's interact with the multi-tool machine let's see if we can upgrade some slots on my multi-tool might as well nope and there's no slot expansions for that Every single station has got one of these in. If you've got enough units, make sure you take advantage of this and install an extra slot inside of your exosuit. Um, I am going to go for storage expansion. Lovely. And then we've got this over here, which you could change your look and feel if you want. I'm not really bothered. And I'm going to also look to see if I can upgrade my starship by putting in some slots there. We haven't got no augmentation. I could have swore we got some augmentation for something. Okay, maybe we didn't then. Okay, maybe it was auto install. I think it was actually, come to think of it. And those terrifying samples we've got, I don't think I need them on my person. So you know what, I'm going to sell those as well. So let's go over to here because they sell for quite a freaking lot. So sell, there you go, these things. I don't think we need them for a badge. I hope we don't anyway. I'm going to sell mine. Boom. I didn't see anything inside of the badges that would indicate that I needed to have kept that. I'm also going to sell that Living Pearl. And um, the Hadal Core, though, those Hadal Cores, they actually spin into Nanites. So I'm not going to sell that. I might as well sell the meats of the chunks of meat that I've got on me. Yeah, I'll sell those. But yeah. Uh, okay, right. And I think that's pretty much that. Let's head on back out then. And let's uh, go on to the next planet. So I'm probably going to visit one of the lush planets in this system. I'll let you know once I've um, started to land on a planet which one I've gone to. Okay, well, I'm going to be going to this one, this overgrown planet. I'm going to fly to the light side again. Um, I don't have to scan creatures, but I still need to scan some flora. So I'm going to fly to the light side of this one and then touch on down on this one. I'm going to the day side because we've still got a badge to pop for scanning a creature and getting a shed load of units as we do so. I should have checked the actual multi-tool vendor up there to see if I could buy myself another scanner module. But we don't have a great deal of nanites right now. We've only got 38. But that Hadal core should spin into nanites that we picked up. So there's oceans here. You could go and get yourself a load of Hadal cores and spin them into nanites if you like. I was looking to see if there might be some sort of building here or something that I could land at so I don't use launch thruster fuel. But that's not the case. Now, as you're flying down to planets, another little mini tip here, peeps, is you can shoot the planets and get yourself 
a load of resources as you're flying over just by shooting the planet. It saves like, uh, you know, harvesting for a while. So I'm just going to fly over this and just shoot a load of resources as I'm flying over and just get myself an abundance of stuff. And as I'm doing this, I'm just keeping my eye peepers open for a building. So every now and again, I might scan and you might see a building marker pop up. Oh, there's a comms ball over there. How far away is that, though? Oh, it's off, it's off planet. All right, so I'm just going to carry on shooting the planet and see if I can find it. Oh, look, there's a building marker there. Let's have a look what that is. Has it got a landing pad? It might have a landing ring. You see that ring there? When you get close to it, it should change colour. And then you can say that you want to land there just by pressing square. There you go. And that lands there. That, that almost counts as a landing pad. So it means that you can take off without using your launch thruster fuel. So it's well worth looking for those sort of things. And again, this would have a save a beacon somewhere around here as well. There it is right here. I'm going to hit that up. That's going to give me some navigational data. Sometimes there's some boxes or crates on the floor where you can get some freebies. Sadly, you can't get freebies out of there till you get your Atlas Pass 1. But yeah, there we go. That's just hit on up a save. I should get a navigational data. There it is there. And yeah, I'm going to just check inside of this building, see if there's anything worth having, which I don't think there will be. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go and have a little look-see. A lot of these buildings have got points of interest inside of them, so it's worth checking inside to see if there's anything. However, I can't find the bloody door. Okay, it's always the last side I check. Oh, here you go. Here's the door right here. Okay, let's go on in. Let's see what the facility this is. So this might give me a distress beacon. It might even give me another ship if I'm lucky. But yeah, uh, usually you have to like um, solve little puzzles inside of here. So one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. So I think that's going to shift once again. So I think it's going to be this top one. I think it's that top one, people. Let's do that. There you go. Distant star. What's it found? It's probably going to find another building or something for me anyway people but there we go lovely jubbly so same drill here i'm gonna scan some flora i'm gonna scan some creatures and hopefully yeah, hopefully pop something half decent well, well let's go back outside then i'm gonna start, start scanning stuff so i'm gonna scan all the flora on this one i think people and see how we get on with that so yeah let's, let's scan that tree i don't think i'm gonna get a lot of units for scanning this birdie man bird bird but we can try Chikapow. Okay, right, so I'm just going to scan stuff before we leave off of this planet, people. And I'll see you in a bit. See you in a moment. Okay, chums, well, there seems to be another badge I haven't collected yet, which is this one. Chikaboom! Now, I was thinking about putting a base down. Now, this is a dissonant system. So I might put one here just in case we do have to come back to a dissonant planet at some stage for some reason or whatever. Oh my god, there's a whole load of creatures I haven't scandicated here. Chikapow! Dundly and done. So you know what, I might put a base computer here. Let's see if I can. I haven't got the plans for a base computer. What the actual fudge? Okay, well, let's go into the old missions and let's see what, what which one pops one. So this one here, warp to a new system, will give me the base computer. So we might as well do that one in the next system. Establish a home base. Pilgrimage, walk on foot. Well, I've nearly done that one. I'm going to visit the last two planets inside of this system. And uh, yeah, I'm just pretty much doing more of the same. So when I go there, I might get some more copper out the ground so I can you know, make some more warp fuel. So I might get a few more resources. But while I'm there, I'm just scanning plants, basically, and, and scanning creatures more of the same. Yeah, I might even pop back to the actual space station and see if I can get a module for my multi-tool. So I might do that. I'm going to go back to the station and then I'm going to go to the next planet. So I'll see you in the guys in a moment. Okay, well, I'm back at my ship. Just before I go to the station, though, I want to see if I can spin that Hadel core into some nanites. So let's go do that quickly. So let's just put in a little bit of carbon in here. Don't need much. Oh, it's already 100% full. Fine. Well, where's my Hadel core? There's my Hadel core. Let's throw that into there. Oh, it's only 50 nanites per core. All right, fine. Well, there we go. That's a few nanites anyway. But to get a shed load more nanites, if I go into my discoveries page, because I've been scanning every blinking thing, if I go to here and then just go up a level and upload the whole lot, boom, I got 63 nanites for everything that I've discovered so far. So it's not a great deal even still, is it? But there we are. That's given me a total of 161 nanites. I might be able to buy quite a cheap scanner module to put into here. 
But hopefully more missions might pop and give me some more scanner sort of tech. So I might just hold on to my nanites for now, people. And so yeah, there's no real point to go to the station, come to think of it. We'll just press on on, we'll go visit a couple more planets, scan a few more things. Okay, chums, I'm heading over to Aegis B36. So out of these systems, I haven't got much more left to go. I've only got this one here to go, and I don't believe... Oh, I have been to that one. No, I haven't been to that one. So just these two planets, that's all I've got, I think, or that one. One of them. Who freaking knows now, peeps? Okay, chums, well, this one is a reeking planet. And again, I'm not seeing very high mountains, so we're not going to be able to pop that badge. It's looking very unlikely popping that badge inside of this first system. But I'm going to land here, right near to the ocean, and I'm going to dive in, in and scan a couple more of underwater critters to see if we can pop the badge for underwater creatures discovered located. Let's um, swim on under the waves. Lovely jubbly. Let's have a look, see if we can spot any creatures inside of this mess. Come on, creatures, where are they? All right, well, I might as well pick up some oxygen or kelp sack. That goes. Now, you can blast these and get oxygen from them. Or you get kelp, kelp sacks, which you can then turn into oxygen. So let's just grab a couple of those. I'll show you when we get back to land. Yeah, so I do need to actually eat a couple just to keep my oxygen levels tippity top. But you can see here there, my life support is quite low. So I need oxygen more than I need the kelp sacks right now. So there we go. let's get that scanned. Let's scan all these creatures over here. Is that just one nest of creatures or is that two types of creature? I hope it's two types. Nope, there's one big school of fish, that one. Right, let's have a look, see if we can spot any more underwater creatures. And I think it's going to be tedious finding the rest. So I might as well zap another kelp sack while I'm here. Chicka pow! And another one. Have I already scanned them ones? Hmm. Hold on. Let's get a bit closer. It's not giving me the ability to scan them ones. That's really freaking weird. Oh, okay. Maybe I've already got them then. That's strange. All right, fine. Uh, well, let's head back to my ship then. Okay, so every sort of underwater pl um, planet you go to, just make sure you, you, um, you pick up a load of creatures or whatever. Uh, here we go, let's pick that. Lovely, that's topped up my oxygen. You saw that, I zapped it just for a second and got myself an extra kelp sack, but then also ate it and managed to get some of my oxygen back. Sneaky little thing, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a massive win, is it? But it's, it's a slight triumph, isn't it, over the game engine? Right, well, let's head on back to the old ship, and I might scan a few more flora while I'm on this planet, because some of this might count towards some of the discoveries. It might pop a milestone. So let's make sure I've scanned enough on side of this planet before I head on off. But you've seen me scan stuff. I think you get the drill. I'm just going to be scanning a lot of the flora, fauna, and minerals on this, this sort of planet. There you go. There's some minerals. Let's scan those. So, yeah, this is all going to count towards my wonders catalogue and pop popping wonders. But, yeah, I could do it being closer to land, to be honest. Let's scan that pigeon. There you go, pigeon. Scan decated. Yeah, I get back over onto land, I think. I think I go land my ship somewhere on land. And as I'm flying over the land, I'm going to be shooting stuff. But let me just show you that tip with the kelp sacks. Because you see there, my life support is dangerously, worryingly low right now. So, there we go. Let's pop it into here. Let's just put in a little tiny bit of... It says it's 100% completed already. Right, so kelp sacks. Kelp sacks, where are you? 34 kelp sacks into there, and I'm going to get 34 oxygen back. So the exchange rate, exchange rate is extremely low on this. Now, you can fly your ship over the oceans and shoot the kelp sacks and get quite a lot and make yourself a load of oxygen that way. It's a little bit tricky, though. Oh, I just popped a new record there. That's pretty sweet. Okay, well, I might as well use the last, last remaining life support gel and hopefully craft myself some more of those. So for life support gel, you do need a lot of um, dehydrogen. And look, there's some dehydrogen there. So I'm just shooting it with my ship to get a load of dehydrogen. That's probably the best way to get it. Now, these sort of weird planets that I'm on now, one of these swamp planet planets, shooting the actual ground on these systems usually yields quite a lot of carbon 
And not only that, you're going to get ferrite dust as well, obviously. But also sometimes you get the odd weird um, deposit that you don't get on other planets as often. So it's well worth shooting the heck out of these planets as you're flying over. So I'm probably going to fly over and look for an actual base or some sort of... Look, there you go, there's, a, there's something over there. We'd head towards that unknown building. Hopefully I'm going to find one that's got a landing ring or a landing pad like I've been showing you so far, peeps. But yeah, I'm going to be shooting any blue crystals that I see like that. Heck yes, I'll get a load of dehydrogen on my way there. So I see you at that landing site, but I think you get the drill of shooting a planet. Oh, would you look at that? I got myself a minor settlement once again, people. Pretty darn freaking awesome luck there. Well, let's uh, land and let's spin this around. And uh, yeah, uh, it's another got, a, got another galactic trade terminal in it. I wonder if this one sells life support gel because, you know, I'm out of that stuff now. I don't really want to have to craft more if I can just buy it from one of these. But it doesn't seem to be there, does it? But we have got launch thruster fuel, so I might buy a little bit of launch thruster fuel. There we go. I'll buy eight of them. There you go. So I don't have to worry about taking off and all that sort of shenanigans. Sweet. Okie pokey. Yeah, there's none there. How bizarre. How bizarre indeed. Well, let's see if we can craft some anyway then. So life support gel. There we go. Life support gel. Oh, I need a load of dehydrogen jelly. Well, that's something that I did see inside of here. So I might as well just buy some dehydrogen jelly. There we go. Buy some dehydrogen jelly. Pow! Done! And they don't sell oxygen inside of there, though, do they? That's a bit of a shite. Okay, well, let's uh, make some life support gels then. Diggly diddly diddly. Pow! We've got six of those. I could do with some more of these for hazardy protection. There you go. I, I can't craft any more. What, what do you actually need for those? Cobalt. Okay, well, there is some cobalt inside of here. Ionized cobalt that I can buy. So there's some cobalt there. Let's just buy let's buy that then. And let's I mean you get it inside of caves, cobalt, but we might as well just craft some more of these. Wow, I crafted quite a lot of them. Okay, fine. And I can't craft any more of those. Sweet, there we go, people. So there we are. That's me pretty much set for my adventure now. I'm gonna grab this cube while I'm here. Lovely jubbly navigational data, don't mind if I do. Right, well, I'm going to just scan some stuff here. And like I say, if, if, if anything happens, if a badge pops or anything like that, I'll let you know. I'm just going to raid these as well, because might as well. Freebies, everybody likes a freebie. Heck, freebie, yes! Okay, and now let's scan a tree. Well, there's some more creatures to be scanned. Might as well scan the creatures. Lovely jobs. And that's, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Just doing a bit of scanning, people. Let's hope that I pop a wonders or two. And I'll let you know if I do. Heck yes. If there's anything note noteworthy or if a badge pops up or a milestone or anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay. I just scanned this cat creature over there and it came up Hunter Killer. So there you go. It was one of those cat creatures there that I scandicated. That guy. Yes. Let's see if I can find him in my catalogue. It was the last creature I scanned. So I think it's this guy here, that one. Look yours, lovely jubbly. There's a couple of breeds of cat on here, so just make sure you scan a couple, and hopefully you're going to pop your badge. But there you go, I got that badge popped on this swamp planet. And let's uh, let's go into the old expedition log. And where is it? Let's go claim a reward. I guess it's going to give me pre-packaged cloaking device, supreme bolt caster, and a paralyzed mortar. Nice. I'm going to run out of freaking slots on my multi-tool at this rate. Nice though. Awesome. Looks like we're getting specced up for some sort of combat. It always feels that way anyway. I didn't see any combat type badges inside of this. Right, okay, well, let's, um, let's get these installed then. I mean, I don't really need the paralyzed mortar or the bolt caster, come to think of it. I mean, I could always swap those in, get a load of nanites for these. I don't even use the cloaking device. So you know what, I might do that and see if I can get another scanner module just so I can pop that badge a bit quicker. I'm going to get this condensed carbon while we're here, if I can. Lovely, lovely condensed carbon. I could do with the advanced mining laser. Let's see if we've got the actual technology to install the advanced mining laser. Let's just move these over here, the scanner ones over there, because I'm hoping to upgrade those anyway. Is there one inside of here? There isn't as yet, people. So, OK, fine. All right, well, we're going to take on off. There's only one more planet, I think, to visit inside of this system, which is that other sort of uh, lush world. I, th I think I've scanned everything I need to scan on here. Oh, look, there's a plant there that I obviously missed. Anything else that I've missed? 
Okay, longest lived. Do you see there, that got a catalogue record for that one. So, yeah, maybe it's worth just butchering about a little bit more to see if there's anything else I might have missed. But yeah, try and catalogue as much as you can on these planets, at least in the nearby scanning vicinity of your ship, at the very least. You don't want to have to come back and visit these planets to do any more scanning, but it could be on the cards. Now, I didn't scan much inside of the oceans, come to think of it. Anyways, let's head on off. Right, people, I'm heading to this last planet in this system for me. I mean, you could have done them in a different order, but I'm heading to this one. Aragorny, whatever you want to pronounce that. Who cares? I'll see you there. Now, something that I didn't do on the last planet was look for copper deposits. So as I'm flying down on this planet, as I'm shooting the planet, rather than look for a building, I'm probably going to look for carbon deposits. So that's oh, not carbon deposits, you know, copper deposits. Oh, this one looks a little bit more mountainous. You know what? Let's just land on the top of a freaking mountain on this one and see if we pop the badge for the highest peak. OK, so that mountain, I don't think is as high as this one over here. This one looks a little bit high. Oh, OK. And that one's even high. OK, well, let's land right on the peak of this mountain. This is probably the, the tallest one I can see right now. OK, let's give this a go right up here. Let's land there. <laughs> let's see if this just pops a badge. That'd be awesome if it does. Boom. Yes, the hills are alive. Brilliant. Eh? There you go, people. Land yourself at the top of a mountain on top of this planet right here. And yeah, John Dundley and Dunn. So this was planet. What was this one? <laughs> Discoveries. Yes, that's planet Aragony. Yes, I can't rename any of this stuff. It's all been discovered by Hello Games. But we've done so many badges just in the very first initial system. So yeah, I watched Scottish Rod's video, to be honest, people. And Scottish Rod has said, you know, make sure you scan everything, go on every planet. Take your time with this one. Don't try and speed run it. I mean, I know people will do speed running because, you know, that happens with every expedition. But they've got a heck of a lot to blink and remember on this one. Where to find certain plants. This is a more of a memory game than a freaking speedrunner's game. I mean, yes, speedrunning comes into it, but you've got to have a freaking memory of sorts, I guess. So, yeah, if Jason and um, Beeble and Zane are trying this one, love to see how they fare with this one because I don't think it's going to be a run in the park sort of affair but you know those guys are pretty amazing at what they do when it comes to speed running so I'd love to see how they manage to pull this one off okay right so let's just scan some creatures anyway might as well get some more sort of nanites I need nanite clusters hopefully to buy a new scanner module so we can manage to get the most amount of monies or um, scanning a creature at some point. That's probably not going to happen for a while because I need to get quite a few scanner modules in to hit the maximum for scanning. Boom. But yeah, I'm still at it. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to scan some stuff on this planet. And before I leave this planet, I'm also going to get myself a load of copper. So yeah, and you've seen how I get copper. You just look for copper deposits. Uh, if you want to see the icon again, it's one of those ones. There's a copper deposit there. It's at 259 news away. I'll go and get that and I'll go get a few more. And then I reconvene just as I'm about to jump to another system. OK, chums, well, I was just walking back up the hill to get back to my ship and I popped, popped another badge. And I think this is pretty much all of phase one done, apart from putting down a base and warp into another system and going to the rendezvous point. So not so bad at all. Ah, cool. We got a movement module. Nice. Well, I'm just grabbing a bit of ferrite as I'm going back on up to my ship for a bit of a reason, because I'm getting a bit bored of digging up um, repositories and right now for you know copper and that. I can show you a little bit of a duplication method. I mean, it's been left in game. It's been left in game for freaking years. So it's up to you if you want to use this, but it will save you a little bit of time in hunting down copper and uh, you know quite a lot of messing about, to be honest. So let's uh, head on over here and uh, I'll show you what I mean when I get near to my ship. I mean, you don't need to be knitting my ship, but there we go. I'm going to just stick down one of these portable refiners, like so. Chikapow. Open up portable refiner. And I'm just going to put in the thing that I want to duplicate. So in this case, I want to put a load of chromatic metal into there. Chikapow. Lovely jubbly. And then I want to get another portable refiner. But to do that, I need some metal plating. So that's why I got the ferrite dust. So if I just create some metal plating now, I'd, I'd create four of them. Let's do four. OK, right, so here we go. I'm going to put down a portable refiner right on top of the other portable refiner. And it needs to be almost like a, a carbon copy, like so. Boom. Then I'll get another one. 
put that down on top pow and another one i've made four of them so there we go i'll put down another and another so you need quite a lot of oxygen to do this as well but i've given tips for how to do that and that's it so now i've got all four and then just pick up all four here you go one two three and four and you're going to see there that i got a shed load of um chromatic metal far more than i put in so if i go back over to this one now I can get that whole stack of chromatic metal, all of this, stick that in there, do the same again. So grab this, put one on top of there. Boom. I mean, there's a lot of people that are going to say, well, Captain Steve, that's that's cheating. No, this is a feature. It's um, been left inside of game. I mean, I'd say it's a feature. You know, you might say it's a bug, but it's been reported to the Zendesk. And it's been reported to the Zendesk like umpteen billion times and uh, nothing's happened. So I can only but assume that they want this left in. But there you go. It's going to save you repeating the digging up and ga ga gaining of that sort of commodity anyway, isn't it, people? There you are. You know, play how you want to play. It's just out there. If you do, if you want to do it the legit way, do it the legit way. But for me, it's going to save me some time. So righto. And it's the same with like the warp fuel. I mean, if I create the antimatter there, and uh, I just need some antimatter housing now. So now I need to go get myself some more. Ferrite dust. Let's grab some ferrite. Okay, that's pure ferrite. Let's just get some more ferrite dust. And uh, yeah, there we go. Boom. Grab that. Okay, in inventory is full. Okay, coolio. Lovely. Let's uh, go back to my exosuit then. And what should I get rid of? I get rid of that. There we are. And uh, let's uh, zap some of this then. And let's get some ferrite dust. Lovely. Oh, great. Sentinels are inbound. You see, now this is why I like to duplicate things. Sometimes it's not as, as simple as just, oh, OK, I want to harvest that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Sometimes it, it's kind of a little bit unforgiving when you're just trying to do some resource gathering. Anyway, i get some freaking oxygen from you, mate. Heck yes. Lovely jubbly. Chikapow. Some more ferrite dust. But I think you get what I'm going to do. I, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to duplicate a load of warp fuel as well, people. So let's go back to my starship. Actually, let's uh, pop open this. There we are. That should give me a bit more ferrite dust. Well, it's given me the uh, the wrong type of ferrite dust, and I haven't got a lot of it. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to make some antimatter fuel housing. I'm going to make some warp fuel, and I'm going to I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, so I made my antimatter housing. I can make my warp fuel now. Let's go and duplicate the fudge out of the warp fuel. Okay, right. So here we go. Let's stick this down. Chikapow. And inside of there, I'm just going to put in my warp fuel because that's what I want to duplicate. And it's inside of my ship, so I need to get it out of my ship. Bunch of heck. Okay, here we go. Shippity ship. Could have just done it inside of menus, to be fair. And let's put over the stuff that I, I want to uh, um, sell or duplicate. Uh, not duplicate, but in fact, you, you could duplicate these if you really wanted to. And, and then when you get rid of them all, but nanites are going to get a shed load. But I want to, I want that installed. I want the movement module, I guess. And I want that one. I mean, I'm not going to ruin it for myself by, um, you know, duplicating all the, all of the stuff. And yeah, let's get that and let's put it inside of my exosuit. There we are. And now let's get into duplicator. Lovely jubbly. Head on over to that. Chikapal. Get my duplication stuff. Warp cell. In you go. Lovely jubbly. And let's start putting the refiners on top of refiners. I mean, having the refiners is going to take up space anyway. So doing this, you, you are going to put yourself at a little bit of a disability. Um, but yeah, it's it saves time. It saves time on the resource grind. And I just want to get on and do the exploration and do the scanning. You know, I, I still got to do all that manually. There's no sort of shortcut in that anytime soon, is there? There you go. That's giving myself a load of warp fuel. Sweet. Thank you. And now I could just duplicate that whole bundle so I don't have to worry about warp fuel probably for the rest of the expedition. So here we go. Let's grab all of that warp fuel, all five of them, put them in there. And let's just go and stick this on top of there. Coolio. Bum, bum, bum. So there you are, people. I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to press on. We'll be warping in a second. Let's uh, put that on there. Done. I mean, you can do this with as many personal refiners, uh, portable refiners as you want, and you could just do this in like massive swathes. You can almost set up a little business doing this on its own. So there you go. Done. Done and dusted. And I've scanned all the creatures that I could see in normal scan vicinity. There's one over here actually, just saying that. 
just saw a red dot over there so i might go and get that creature just in case it's a special creature that's going to pop a badge or something because you never know with this freaking mission okay has it just despawned though i think it has the red dots freaking vanished on it nope there it goes again um it's a fast critter there we go and scanned got him it's a flying pigeon brilliant it's night time now so probably gonna have trouble scanning everything but there we are i'm gonna press on on though we're gonna jump to the next rendezvous system we're gonna go to uh oh, we're gonna warp now we're gonna get the last couple of badges and that would be phase one done but doing phase one i've also done a lot of the other phases however this video is getting quite long so i might just call it phase one anyway and it's what i would do to complete phase one so here we go let's go into the warp engines and we're jumping we're jumping system we're just going to go to where it's pointing you can see that it's a corvax area of space so that's cool we can head into the actual um, station and hopefully learn a few words for the corvax and we're just going to put down a base on the planet here so i'm going to see me going into a station and then putting boots on the ground on a planet so we go and pop the badge interstellar brilliant eh? okay let's pop that badge then and that should give us our base computer plans lovely no don't shoot the station steve they send sentinels out that they completely destroy you my friend okay cool we've got loads of chromatic metal now that's not a problem okay so there we are pre-packaged teleporter received okay well, let's um let's get that installed i guess so what's that one pre-packaged teleporter nice we get that installed now that's pre-packaged and it's a paralyzed mortar i could put it inside of i could put it inside my multi-tool might as well have that but the rest of them these ones the bolt caster underwater protection thermal protection i might sell these i mean there's a pre-packaged one there for thermal protection i might as well slap that in i guess but yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm not overly too fast. In fact, I might put in, because thermal protection is quite handy to have. Yeah, I'm going to install that too. It's handy to have that for derelict freighters. And I've noticed that we've been given one of those emergency signal beacons to call in. So I don't know whether we're going to have to use that at some point. And over inside of my Starship, I've also been given some pre-packaged technology there for a cloaking device. Let's get that in as well, shall we? We'll stick that in okay so inside of a station i'm going to talk to all of the people up here hopefully learn uh, enough of the corvax words but before i go over to that side of the station i'm just going to go over this side i'm just going to go and hit on up this pow, get myself an exosuit expansion slot installed yeah stick that in there thank you very much mate and i want to see if they've got a scanner module inside of here for sale let's go in here purchase upgrades Plasma launcher, that's quite high class. Geology cannon, no. And I don't think they've, they've got a scanner in there, but 75 nanites. I'd go for it anyway. We'll get it installed. And if, if, if anything, it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, get that in. Let's see if that boosts some of my scanner rewards, anyhow. Just put that there. Chicka pow. Done, dilly, and done. I don't think we've I got any boosted slots in here at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. There we go. That's all installed. I'm going to go and talk to the actual Corvax over on the opposite side now. And I only need to learn two more words of Corvax. Two more words of Viking. Let's see if we can pop those badges while we're over this side of the station, people. Run on round. Hello there, my Corvax chum. So this first episode is going to be quite a long episode, but it could be that the other phases, because we've popped so many badges in them, Oh, okay. We're not going to hire you. It could be shorter episodes, but I will make a playlist for the Voyager's Expedition. Hello there, matey. How are you? Uh, here we go. Request dialect help. Travels in more. Nice. I need one more Corvax word. Let's see if we can get it from this guy. Hello, chum. Yes, I want to learn your dialects. Friendship symbol. Boom. Is that going to pop a badge? Right. Let's go see if there's a, a Viking over here somewhere. Hello there, mate. There's only one Viking here. Dang it! Request dialect help. But for whatever reason, I didn't get the one for the Corvax. Then again, I learned... Ah, it's six words. It's six words. So I've learned... Yeah, okay, cool. I need to learn two more Corvax words. There's one. Thank you. And I go and get this guy over here. Come on. 
last callback's word and hopefully the next system we jump to might be Viking and then we can do the Viking ones in episode two probably that should be it that should be the callbacks learned all right I'll talk to one more for good bloody measure then hello John come on pop a bloody badge that'd be nice wouldn't it maybe I miscounted dum -dum 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 -dum. Or maybe the badge has actually popped and it just hasn't told me yet. I'll talk to another blinking one. Hello there, buddy. Well, there might not even be one for Corvax. I might have misread the badges. Who freaking knows? Something's going on. Something's gone astray. Let's go and have a look at the old... No, oh, there's nothing in there, to be honest. So I've learned the Gek words. Um, okay. Right, where's the Corvax words then? Normally they do one of each, but maybe I don't have to then. Who freaking knows? All right, fine. I'm, I'm not seeing it, actually. It looks like we don't have... Oh, Corvax words. Nine. We've got to learn Cor Corvax words nine. So there's one more to get. All right, let's have a look for one more Corvax. Have I spoken to you? It doesn't say visited. Let's go and have a look, though. No, that's hire a scientist. I don't... I knew I'd spoken to you, you git bag. Have I spoken to you? Visited, yes. Spoken to you? Visited, yes. Okay. Spoken to you? Yes. How about you? Yes. Arse and biscuits. Visited. Fajanori. Okay. Well, that sucks. Okay. Well, it looks like... Oh, hold on. One more. Have I visited this one? Yes, I have. Arse. Okay. Well, let's go on over to the opposite side of the actual station and see if there's one more behind closed doors over here. But if there isn't, I've got to go down to a planet anyway to put down a base computer. And when I put down a base computer, hopefully I'm going to find myself a knowledge stone that I can hit up. But one of these, hopefully, is going to offer me a word. Come on. Yes. Brilliant. I think we've got it. Nice one, squirrel. Nice one, son. Aha. There's another Corvax. I mean, a, a Viking here. Let's talk to him. Let's see if we can get one more word off of this dude. Nope. He wants to be an Exocraft technician. Well, your dreams cannot be fulfilled because I don't have a base yet, my friend. Heck, no, I don't. All right. Gordios. Well, let's head on back then. And let's head on over to a planet in this system. Let's just uh, collect that badge, shall we? Here we are. Chicka boom. Dundle and done. Divergence cube, memory fragments, and lubricants. You know, something I haven't been doing this whole time is checking the caves for vortex cubes. Ah! That was a bit of a scorn by error. Okay, well, we'd have to check um, the planets in this system. They're, they're not all that rare, to be honest. Right, okay, well, there is also a badge for the coldest planet visited. So let's have a look if there is a cold planet in this system. Ancient bones? No, that's not a cold planet. Ancient bones gamma radioactive. And I can't see what the other ones here are at the moment, but none of them look overly blue. None of them look overly cold. But yeah, I could go and visit all of these and hopefully hit up some more wonders. I'll tell you what, I'll go and put a... I might put a base on this um, this ringed planet. Might as well, people. It looks quite nice. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. And if I land by the oceans, I might be able to scan a few more underwater creatures. But yes, I'll see you down there. Oh, I'm there. There's no point in cutting, is there? Um, so yeah, let's go land here. Let's um, land by the ocean. Let's go scan some underwater creatures. Put down a base computer. In fact, I could do the underwater creatures in episode two, couldn't I? Let's just put down a base computer. Ah, we haven't got to rendezvous point yet either, have we? So, yeah. <laughs> episode one's going to be a long one. It might complete all badges before I freaking... Yeah, well, I won't, well, I won't finish all of them. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, let's put this here. Chicka boom And let's claim this base then. Lovely jubbly. I'm probably going to have to put down some base parts to actually get to the part count. So there we are. Popped that. And let's just put down a little wooden shed. Let's just get it to the limit and then I can upload. And this is going to be my little base. Oh gosh, there we are. Done. Right. And uh, let's just go into the base parts. Let's put down some floor panels. Chicka pow, chicka pow, chicka pow. Uh, I'd have it out in the water slightly. There you go little bridge going across i'll just do a, a a nine oh three by three which is like nine isn't it let's just put in some let's get a door in first let's put a door right there Chikapow. and now i need some walls there we are let's go into camera mode now 
I tend to like to make double high walls, but you can see here I'm going to run out of carbon before I've even finished the first the first layer of this one. Darn it. Okay. Right. Fine. And one. I've run out of carbon. So now I'm going to have to shoot a load. Oh, there we go. We've actually popped the badge anyway. So that's uh, that's all right. Good to go. Let's, um, let's just pop the badge for that then. Chikapow! There we are. Decorative base part set. Nice. Let's see if we can upload it with just those parts. Yes, I can. That'd do me for now then. I'm not overly bothered about getting a roof on or making that look swanky or lovely or wonderful. Now, I can just teleport back to this system and catalogue all of this system in my own time. So I will be in my own time landing on every single planet, scanning all the creatures, scanning all the things, because you never know what's going to count towards your wonders catalogue. But for now, since um, I'm making a video, I'm just going to use this ship and I'm going to jump to the next rendezvous point. So I need to recharge the, my warp drives. Let's take one off. Let's just get to rendezvous one and finish phase one because I can always teleport back here. And if you put your boots on the ground inside of a station, you can always walk back to stations as well. So inside of here, we're going to hit up rendezvous one. We're going to get phase one complete just so I can end off this video and make it in watchable format. Let's just jump over here then. Chicka boom. One more jump. Can I make it? It's outside of jump range. It's outside of jump range. Okay, so there's a GEC system there with water inside of the GEC system. I could go inside the station, just add it to my station list. So I'd do that quickly. And I'd also get an exosuit upgrade inside of the station. But I'm inside of the station and I might as well take advantage of talking to the Viking while I'm here, learning their lingo, just in case I can learn some language and hopefully pop another badge, even though I'm not seeing it inside of the actual list of badges. But it could just be that I'm going slightly patch blind or something. Anyway, here's another Viking. So there's only two inside of this station anyway, people. But hopefully interacting with the actual terminus inside of here, the teleporter terminus, this thing should add it to sort of like my, my repository of stations visited so I can jump back here should I wish to. And you can also see the other bases that are inside of this system. There's my terrible base, but there's a couple of other bases here as well. And you can see their previous systems and all that sort of shenanigans. While I'm in here, I'm just going to run on over to this side and get another expansion to my multi my, my um, exosuit. So let's head on over here. Lovely jubbly up this ramp. And over this way, and over to this end kiosk. Here we go. Pow. Boom, boom, boom. And yes, I'll have that. Thank you. And I'm just going to head on over to this actual vendor over here. Gorneo. And what I might do is sell off. Sell off some of those other ones that I've got. So purchase, and then you go to sell. And I'm going to sell the ones that I have inside of my starship. That one and that one. Don't really want them. So that gives me a little bit extra. And have you got a better scanning module than green? No, he doesn't. So I'm just going to buy the green one anyway. Cool. It's going to give a little lift. It's not going to give me a great deal. Oh, oh. Excuse me. I sneezed decated. Put that into there. That's going to give me my adjacency bonuses. It might give me a little bit extra on scanning. That's flora scanning. Scanning radius. Really, you want one that's going to up your reward for fauna analysis like this one here. And there's an A class there. If there was a boosted slot here, we might get away with it. But we're not quite there yet, people. OK, well, hopefully we'll come across a module at some point. And hopefully I'm going to get another way of gaining a load of nanites. And hopefully we'll be able to get that badge popped. But it's not looking likely at the moment. Anyhow, so there we go. I've touched base inside of the actual station. I can jump again. And we're going to be jumping over towards the... Um, the actual rendezvous. So here we go. Boom. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, boom. And jump. Right, oh, people. Well, I've headed towards the rendezvous one marker, and there's this here, and it's got comms balls on it. So I'm thinking this might be rendezvous one. I mean, look how many comms balls are here, people. Okay, right. I think this is probably going to be it. So I think we might be lucky enough to show we've just now completed phase one. Let's see, though. Let's head on up the ramp. QAQ. Hi. Well, hello. Peace. Heck yes. Okay, well, let's head on over then. Let's go see if this is rendezvous one. It looks like it is. Love is love. New York free. Heck yes. Okay, well, some lovely console messages there, people. We have reached rendezvous one. 
Heck yes, we have. Jesus loves you. Does he? Rock and stone. What? What the fuck is rock and stone all about? Holla. Okay. Right on. Well, we've, we've now punched that last badge. Boom. There we go. And we're getting some more slots. Let's do that then. Let's just get that into there. Sweet. And let's put the phase one badge. Electric jetpack trail customization. Don't mind if I do, people. Heck yes. Pretty darn sweet. And we've got some storage augmentation. We've got all sorts going on there. I'm just going to run down to my ship, jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save. And I think I'm going to be ending off on phase one, phase one complete. But that's my best start guide for this expedition, people inside of the viewerverse. So, yeah, hopefully you've been following along. Yeah, it's always fun to do these yourself. So, you know, it, it's it's one of these things. I'm trying to give you the best tips as I'm going along. I'll probably do a short condensed version for tips for this expedition. But basically, the short tips for this one, people, is land on every planet, scan everything you can blink and scan, and hopefully you can't go too far wrong. Anyway, people out there in the view of us, it's time to say goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. See you next time. Cheery bye.